Hey, I'm playing Days Like This by Van Morrison, straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own ukulele, and you can play along with me. And if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. After the song, I'll do a basic tutorial, together with a slow motion close-up play along you might find helpful. Now here goes. Sweet song. Go Van. Yeah. All right. Sorry for that pause. I had to switch to the second page. You should have been prepared for that. Oh, well. Um, fun song. I did a little funny riff. I say funny. Fun. A little fun riff. Very easy. But if that scares you, don't worry about it. Just play your G. Most of it, most of the song, the strum is the way I described it. The, there's a, a strong down, pause strong up, pause strong down, and then down, 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 like this. Down, down, uh, I tell you what, I'm going to stay on the G. So you hear it, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. That's the rhythm of the song, right? as long as you leave the emphasis there it doesn't matter if you sometimes fill in you know if I I paid, played verse 3 a little more robustly maybe I didn't pause all the time maybe in, at the end instead of doing you know I did you 
know, it doesn't matter. As long as the emphasis is in those places. Down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, down. Okay, now that riff that I did in the intro and whenever it went GD at the end of a verse. Here's how I did it. All I did, I started out, even though the first chord you really play is a G, started out with my fingers on the D because, I don't know, somehow it worked better for me. I'm going to play a, play it right. Virtually always when I do an arpeggio, when I do this kind of picking, I forget about my pinky. I use my four fingers on the four strings, right? And if I can do it comfortably, that's the way I do it. So my four fingers are assigned, my four fingers are assigned a string each. So here's how I do this one. I'm, all I'm going to be doing is a, I'm going to do a hammer on here. Okay, I'm not plucking this twice. I'm not doing, right? I'm dropping my finger, making the, the tone change. Okay? So all it is, that second street, second string from the floor, right? I'm dropping. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Whoops. <sighs> Sorry, I'm screwing up. And then I'm sliding it up for that G, all right? And that's another reason that I do. You know, normally if I was going to be doing a G, I'd probably be... I, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, that's the way I do it. I start with my fingers positioned as if it's a D. Pick it up. And then slide this forward so that I get the G, right? And then I'm positioned there on the D again. A. You notice how that ring finger is really the anchor point, right? Other than picking it up for that pluck. It stays in place from the D, the G, it slides up one, sorry, and then there, and then, no it doesn't, you're going to do to an A, it's going to stick, it's going to pick up, oh well, sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so that is, uh, that's the start, and that's part of the song too. What do we do then when we get into the song? So, um, I'm, again, from the D, I'm sliding up to a G here, sliding my ring finger up, and drop that, right, but now it's to a B, a B minor, and that's, uh, that's a, a harder jump, but still, if you can focus on your thumb squeezing to give yourself a, a bar chord here, so you can get that B minor, right? Not all is raining, right? And then I'm going to slide down to an A. Uh, none, of the, none of the fingers stay in place then either, oh well. Days like this, I don't have any, I don't have any tricks for you there, sorry. And they come pretty quickly too. No use complaining. Okay, the second line is easier because your your ring finger becomes that stability point. G, right? And then, yes, the A, you pick them all up, but at least from there. All right. Now, here, I get a little trickier. You can ignore me if you want. You can just play a G and an A and just switch, and you can skip the second A on the line. That's why I made that in bold, bright red. You can skip that if you want. If you play it the simplest way, it would be like this. When everything falls into place, like the flick of a switch. That sounds nice, right? Everything falls into place like the flick of a switch. Well, my mama told... That sounds fine. You could play it that way if you want. If you want to play it the way I did, here's what I did. It's a closed G, right? I call it a second position G, because here would be the open G, but in one step up is this, and I do it barring it like this. And the nice thing about barring it like this, all I have to do is step up three, two frets, and I got that A, right? And then I'm doing a D as if it were a B flat shape, right? But all the way up on the fret, fifth fret. And then if you include the A, I can't say it's not a quick move. It's a quick move. Now this, from, from that A to the B minor is not so hard because it's almost the same shape. You're just picking up a finger and going down two frets. So, so it's not, in fact, Ah, uh, whatever. If you don't want to do it, then don't do it. <laughs> do the easy version. But if you like the way it sounded when I did it, that's how I did it. When everything falls into place, like the flick of a switch, right? That's how I did it. All the chord pictures are there. You can practice it. If you like the song, then practice it, and you'll get it eventually, and it's good. Or maybe you're better than me, and you can do it the first try. Great! Okay. Um... Mama told me there'll be days like this, and then, that's the whole song. That's the entire song. That's all it is. Okay, I'm going to play now just the intro and verse one. 
uh, in slow motion, close up on my left hand, so you can follow along in slow motion with every chord transition, every pick and whatever. Uh, if you want to stick around for that, then do. If you don't, then don't. But hey, if you like the video, please like the video with a thumbs up. You want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's free, of course. You want lots more free downloadable ukulele song sheets, check out our Dropbox. And then look at our meetup page and come play with us. That would be great. All right, here goes now. Slow motion. Starting with my fingers in the shape of a D here. One, two, three... See you Wednesday. Bye.